Welcome to my online welding training program. I am Albert Idio, that's the accredited trainer and assessor. In this video, we will discuss about welding carbon steel plate and pipe using small. Then our video for today is about the weld carbon steel pipe in using small. Okay, so sa weld carbon steel pipe or core, core 1 and 2, we need to understand what is the five essentials of welding. Five essential essentials of welding. Okay. So number one is we have the correct electrode size. Correct electrode size and number two is correct electrode angle correct electrode angle okay then number three is correct travel speed correct travel Speed. Then number four is correct current. Okay. And number five is correct arc length. Correct arc length. Okay. So this is the five essentials of welding. So, uh, Lahat na ito dapat mong sundin para ikaw ay makapaggawa uh, ng uh, magandang hina. Okay. Correct electrode size. Kunwari, for example, naghinan ka ng uh, single big group. Single big group. By using the, uh, ano, ano ba ang unang gagawin? No? We have the root pass. Root pass, hot pass, and we have copy this is a schedule a schedule 80 okay schedule 80 root pass, hot pass, and copy number one sa root pass, ano bang ginagamit mong uh, electrode? this is a 6011 6011 or 6010 okay sa hot pass, anong ginagamit mo? This is the 7018. Okay? And also the copy 7018. So, we need to uh, follow the five essentials of building correct electrode size. Then the next one is what we have the correct electrode angle. Pag minang ka ng single B group. <clears throat> ano ba ang tamang angle? Okay. So again, this is the zero degree. Then we have the 35, uh, 20, 30, 45 degrees. So, kailangan nandun lang, no? Kaya uh, sinasabing correct electrode angle, no? Then, we have the correct travel speed. Okay, sa correct travel speed, we have the different techniques of welding. We have the figure 8, okay? Figure 8. Okay? So, from, from top to bottom, no? 1 and 2 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 So, that is the correct travel speed by, using, by counting 1 and 2 1 and 2 no? Okay, then uh, the The other one is we have the correct current By using the 6011 electrode Ano ba ang tamang amperahin mo? No? Ano ba ang tamang uh, amperahe mo by using the 611 electrode? Siyempre, mas mababa. Uh, umisan, uh, depende sa machine, umisan 60 to 80. Okay? Or 90 to 150 by using the 70 electrode. Okay? So, correct current. Correct arc length. Masabi, correct arc length. Okay? 
Pag naghinang ka by using your electrode, ano ba ang arc length doon sa base metal? So at least, uh, dapat 1.8 uh, or 3.2 mm doon sa base metal para hindi siya dumidikit. No? Ganun lang. Pag huminang ka, hayaan mo lang electrode na tatapos, naubo siya. Ganun lang. No? Okay, so this is the five essentials of welding. Then another topic is about other uh, types of beads. Okay, so types of beads we have the stringer, stringer beads, stringer, stringer beads, or commonly called dragging. Okay, when you say stringer bead, in lang, no? Ah, uh, hindi mo siya hinihila, so ayaw mo lang siya na ubos ng electrode na tatapos ka. Okay, stringer bead, or commonly called dragging. Then another another one another one we have wave bead okay okay from in your mind yun sila sabing from side to side no side to side siya then we have the last one is staggered 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 beads okay ano ba sila sabing staggered bead yun tinatawag nila true in pass Oh, true and pass. True and pass. True and pass. Okay, so those are the types of beads. Okay, and welding uh, and a weld carbon steel plate and pipe using a small. We need to understand the welding position. Okay, so the welding position. So we have one, two, three, and four. Okay, so this is one, two, three, and four. Okay, so what does it mean uh, for fillet or F and G? So means so one F, one F, one F is the plot. Okay, one F, two F. 3F and 4F. Okay. 1G, 2G, 3G, and 4G. So this is all about NC1 or National Certificate 1. Okay, legal. So, 1F, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, uh, 1 plus F will equal to 1F. So this is the uh, position for pilot. Then this is for the groom. Okay? So uh, marami na marami mga uh, na, nasa industry na hindi alam yung mga uh, position ng welding. Okay? So um pa ano natin to kung uh, kung isa-isahin natin no. Ang 1F uh, ito yung karaniwan or uh, normal na uh, hinihinang ng mga beginner, no? And also the 2F, so naka-horizontal siya. Then uh, 3F is vertical. Then 4F is overhead. Okay? Again? So, the flat, horizontal, vertical, and overhead. So, ganun din dito sa groove, no? Sa groove. So, this is the fillet, then this is the groove. Okay, so sa 1G, 1G, 2G, 3G, and the 4G. Uh, flat groove, horizontal groove, vertical groove, and overhead groove. Okay, pag nag-proceed na tayo, nadagdagan ng uh, 5 and 6. Okay. 5 and 6, this is for pipe. Pipe na to. Okay, for pipe. Okay, then this is for plate. Okay. So, 5G.
5G and 6G. Okay, so when we say uh, 5G, this is horizontal fixed pipe position. Ito ay naka-fix. Fix. Horizontal. Horizontal. Fix. Pipe. Position. Okay. Ito naman, uh, 6G, this is the 45 degrees plus or minus 5 degree fixed pipe pipe position okay so this is all about the the welding position in national certificate 2 for nc1 nc1 2 2 as a test the regular uh, regulation Dito na po na magtatapos ang aming small lecture na ito. Sana marami po kayong natutunan at asahan niyo po ang servisyong kaalaman. Para po sa mga gustong kumuha ng welding in situ, mangyari po lamang na kontakin kami sa email na ito. Salamat po!